Does your speedometer honestly tell you your true speed? Or do you worry sometimes that it might be a little bit off? Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how you can calibrate your speedometer and make certain that it's showing you your true speed. Nobody wants to get a speeding ticket, but what if your speedometer is off a little bit or a big bit, and it says you're doing 50 miles an hour, but you're really doing 58, and then you go into a speed trap? You could be in trouble. By the way, you've probably already recognized I really enjoy making these tutorials. And if you would like to encourage me to keep making more of them, there are three things you can do. First, you can share this video, share it on YouTube right here, share it on social media, share it in an email, let other people get the same sort of enjoyment out of it that you're getting. Second, Click that like button down there. That helps the YouTube robots know that you found it to be a helpful video and they will promote it to other people in the recommended for you section of YouTube. And the final thing you can do is leave us a comment in the section down below. That also helps YouTube recognize that we've got a community going here and that we can have a discussion back and forth with what's going on in this video. To calculate your speed, the simplest thing you can do is to time the amount of time it takes your vehicle to travel one mile and divide the number of seconds into the number 3600. The reason for this is there are 60 seconds in a minute, there are 60 minutes in an hour, 60 times 60 is 3600, and if you do the math and do the formulas and the fractions and everything, you will see that this is how you calculate the miles per hour of your vehicle starting with the number of seconds it takes you to travel one mile. Mile markers on an interstate highway work wonderfully for measuring miles. Using these mile markers makes it so you don't have to worry about whether your odometer is correct. For timing, you can use your smartphone, you can use a stopwatch, you can even use your wristwatch. You don't need to time it to the tenths of a second. Even seconds will do. All speedometers I've ever seen display speed in miles per hour without fractions. So you don't need to time it to the fraction of a second. If you time your mile on cruise control on a flat and straight stretch of road, your speed stands the best chance of staying the same throughout the test. If the road you're on has some hills or there are some significant curves, you might want to extend your test over several miles. If you time it for more than one mile, then all you need to do is calculate the number of miles you're testing and multiply 3600 by that number. If you're going two miles, use 7200. If you're going 10 miles, use 36,000. That will give you your miles per hour if you divide the number of seconds it takes you to travel that distance into that number. Safety alert, only do this when you're not driving. If you need to be the one to do the timing and to do the calculations, then make sure somebody else is driving. If you need to be doing the driving, then make sure somebody else is doing the timing and the calculations. It's not worth having a traffic accident. Once you have your calculated speed, you can compare this with what your speedometer says. And if the numbers agree, you can feel good that your speedometer is accurate. If you want to get meticulous, then you might try calibrating your speedometer at several different speeds just to make sure it's accurate in all the different ranges. That's really all there is to it. You should now know how to calibrate your speedometer so you can feel confident that it's telling you the truth when it tells you how fast you're going. Or you will know if it's not telling you the truth and you'll know how to adjust in your mind. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a comment in the section down below. Let's get a good discussion going. Also, be sure to leave us a thumbs up so we'll let the YouTube robots know that you found this video helpful. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified whenever we post another tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.